I have replaced the needle valves in these Weber IDF carburetors, but after doing that you need to set the height of the float. This is the carb top removed from the other carb and you'll see I have removed the gasket as well. In order to remove the gasket you remove the pin that holds the float in place and that will uh, allow you to take it off. Adjusting the float can be done accurately using a vernier calipers but you could use a ruler if you don't have one. Now in this instance we're setting the height of the float to 10 millimeters. So you will see here that the float is too high. It is very, very important to note that you do not press the little ball in the middle down, okay? It has to be sitting on the ball but not pushing it, okay? So we're setting it there and it needs to be set to 10 millimeters. And what you do is you bend the tab up that's acting on the needle valve. That height is now correct. Lastly, using the tab that sits against the needle seat, you need to adjust the droop height to 32 millimeters. 